back into action upon the departure of Nico, upon the departure of YNK. They do not have a coach and they do not have any pressure. Will that give them the edge? Mirage is their chance to take us back and take us to Nuke. I wouldn't mind a third considering just how much of a rambunctious lot this 10 are. They're going to be once again locking horns. We do see the utility prioritized for both squads into the pistol round and you can see the edge towards G2 extended by GG.bet. Let's see if this pistol round will see any more multi-kill action. Rain started his pistol off with a 3k previous. This time he's given the responsibility of the bomb. And there's three players from G2 over towards this B bomb side in the early stages here. So they've read this one quite well. The bomb now going down towards underpass. Maybe they're just looking for some information. If they were to head towards B, that would be the wrong call. Smoke towards window, smoke towards connector. It's going to obscure Kenny's vision. Hangs around for a couple of pot shots. That's going to be heard. And they're actually boosting oh. into the window here. So Olaf's going to get on the perch. Oh, 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 oh. You don't expect that, do you? You just don't. They're going for the A split. So flush over connector. Away they go. Yeah, and that's going to draw Kenny even further away. He's actually backed the hell out. It saves his life. Oh, oh no. Okay, they found him. Double, Double dink. dink. Hunter and Nico have three HP between them. Olaf has inflicted so much damage. Will they recover? They've got so much util on Hunter. He's got smoke flash and a nade he needs to survive. Olaf jumping over the shot of Jax, keeping him pinned. They're coming from CT. There's a kit, two smokes. They cannot afford to lose players. Cole's already taken down one. Kenny claws it back. Trades equal. Want to see the smoke on the site shoot soon. Nex is looking for the bomb. Drops the smoke. It's not yes. perfect. It's not perfect at all. Olaf does go down. Cold finds his second. The P250 strong. There's a kit loose. Hunter's still alive with his low Good HP. Time. And he just doesn't have the time. You're right. Cold Zero just takes it. It's his turn for the multi kill. Let's phase take their pistol. Oof, all right. Well, this is phase home turf right now. And it makes sense. This map they've been very, very comfortable on. And one where they get space, they can get into the mid rounds. All of their players can be absolutely deadly. Pistol round got close. It got tight. Thanks, Olaf Meister. Yeah, you do love to see that. Now, with a round like this, it's likely to see G2 bouncing back with a force buy of their own. Wrestle for that economic control early. But that's a good round there to kick things off for FaZe. I like the, the smoke strategy. Early B app's presence. You can fake off that as well. And Nico smokes off connector by his own design so he can jiggle and peek. And that was the shot he was hoping to hit. Takes one. Back away, confirms maybe even the bomb spotted top of middle. Can't do a lot with that info, but they will try and take space where they can. Hexa calls ramp clear. Step one. A lot Just of... out of morbid curiosity, can Rush, can we see how Colt's holding that palace push? How cheeky of a line is that? Okay, really, really tugged in. Thank you, sir. G2 might want to reinitiate on mid here. And that's smoke. a yeah, big gap right now. That could translate into a frag. Oh, they're dying their eyes, crossing their T's. They will try and punish Nico. He used, tries to use the guys of the smoke, but it was a bad smoke as we discussed. Jax whittling away at Olaf's health. Hasn't gone down. Rain, however, has found the head of Kenny there. Swarming into the site now. Nex is not going to be able to do too much with his ramp position. Now Brokey even swinging into punish corners. the rotate. Yeah, Jax caught off. Full rotate from Hunter could punish Brokey a little bit. That's something. And they are all so low, three of them low. Nexa could do damage from his palace position. But it looks like it's likely going to be containment, if not a weapon upgrade, is priority. Cold Zero's got them an escape route here. If he can continue forward in halls, they can all exit up through the balcony. They're close towards A ramp as well, so making sure they He's can hold on it. to these. He's going to get it. No, oh, Cold Zero. No issue. That was the only healthy man who could go on the hunt. Catching Nexa, trying to... Steal away a weapon. It will be phase a clean conversion. Four bodies left standing as it goes 2-0. We did have the NIP versus G2 game on Mirage just the other day. It ended up 16-13, and the woes for G2 were more on their CT side than they were on the T. NIP started to come back in that game. It looked like the first half they had been blown on out. G2 very well handled their T half of Mirage, but the CT side is where we're going to be keeping our eyes here within the early stages. Rain on to Nico, keeping track of the head to head. It's a 2 0 right now for FaZe in the early stages. And if they can keep this one clean, they'll be sitting pretty. It's just that Galil to contest with, the Eagle 4 Nico that has been lobbed across. Kenny's into the P250 as well. So there's a couple of threats here. And we've seen from FaZe if they bloodlust, like they did in a few of those earlier rounds on Dust 2, 
They can fall apart quickly. Nico first to receive. Nothing. Just the jiggle. Kyoby to punish. It's a big scalp to take within the early stages here. They're just going to continue. Three players through middle. Two over towards A. Quite a clear indication of where they want to finish. Kirby stabilizing. Next has found a very healthy Olaf. He's hunting. He wants to finish off the job. The flash isn't enough. Doesn't find the shot. One bullet would have done it. Brokey adjusting. What a lovely finish. Just making sure things don't go too messy. He'll go ahead and collect himself a nice double and put the third on the board. Phase time to buy. Excuse me. Let me try again. G2 time to buy. I just see Nico's name. Yeah, keep, it's it's going to take a couple games. Give me a couple. Give me a couple. I see Nico. I just keep saying phase. Stupid boy. I had the 100 Thieves thing. I think I called it Renegades for the first oh, two yeah. tournaments. It, uh, it did take some time. <laughs> and then you have to go 100 Thieves. Yeah. But um, not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> All right, so smokes towards middle. This one looks like a quick mid control here. No AWP for Brokey. We so yeah. might see a pace change. It's twice we've seen this T side have some gaps in their smokes. Oh, look how close yeah. those bullets are just above Nico's head there. Oh, Rain wants it. Trying to line it up through the smoke. Bit of a standoff. Jax is pushed up. He's got some good BAPS control here. This is really nice. Behind the smoke, complete denial of information. Oh, he's even looking forward. So tucked in towards the kitchen. This is even harder to clear right now and less likely to be considered. Olaf starting slow again. On Dust 2, he didn't get frags for the first five or six rounds. And retooling back towards the B side, we can see four players from phases. G2 are looking for information. So swapping parts of the map right here and they will have to clear Jax. That's going to be a very, very early warning, but the rotation is so far away right now. It's Jesus, only Hunter. Jax. That's his first test. It goes one for one. Kirby, very good trade, an important one. Hunter will rotate just in time. He has an incendiary. He's opting to stick around and actually look for the first frag. Doesn't Huge. find it. Kirby's got two entry frags into this B sign. That enables the plant. That may very well incite the save. That should be the right call here. Look at this. They're out of position. The damage is done. There's no utility. Oh, there's a freebie on terrain here. He's dropped down. Maybe that might spur G2 forward. Nico's found rain. It is a three on three. Kenny's already tucked in towards A. They've called this one off. So with very little done there, phase pick up a big round. That's Jax falling, Hunter out of position. Both kills for Kirby. And they're going to maintain at least three players alive. G2 holding on to this AWP, the two M4s. It's going to be good to keep their buys going. But phase they started strong on map number one, and then they cooled off. I think it's going to be a momentum-based game for them. If they can keep the pressure on and continue to snowball rounds, then we're looking likely for a map number three. But if they find themselves losing a couple of these cheeky deagle rounds or, or scrappy rounds that they should probably be coming out on top of. Might get it stolen away from them yet again. So G2, zero to four. We'll be able to work out the buy. Nexa and Nico can both drop rifles. Hunter and Jax will be very happy to get those. Utility looking good as well. Kits in play armor for everybody. So still a potent gun round for G2 off the back of that save. We need to start getting some kills and getting some rounds on the board. Smokes towards middle once again. Still five. Oh, no, Brokey's into the AWP, mind you. So let's see if this one changes their progress. Rain, lots of pressure in middle. Okay, so the Deep Molly and Kenny just peeks on it. Actually, wing clips Kirby. That was the bomb carrier. Seems like it's enough to deter. If they're quick, they can get out of there before Kenny rotates. But if they take their time on this, Kenny's going to reposition. It's four players heavy over towards the B site. One in window. Rotating back now is Hunter, so they're leaving Kenny towards B, so that site cannot get punished. So it's retake A. They don't break the vent, Chad. You like to observe that, and there's a, usually a deliberate reasoning for it. However, Jack's being in there doesn't necessarily mean that they're relying on that sound cue. He still has the control. Could just be smoke and mirrors, if you will. Neither of the vents broken. Leads to some uncertainty for the T's on to the CT positioning. Nico's there as well. Two walking up connector and that smoke spray nade combination has really left a mark on Rain. Palace Pincer bombs through T-spawn. It's only Nexa. It's Hunter's smoke spray that finishes the job. He actually takes down Rain. He's got a sixth sense as to how they're planning to finish this one off. Jax is still responsible for B though alongside Kenny. You'd think he would perhaps start edging now. No one's calling for help. He can hear them. Nexa. <gasps> Freebie. The molly's late. Olof has found one. Needs another, though. Nex is still on the site. Using that incendiary to keep them at bay. Kirby is left alone after the frag comes in. It's an AWP, and it will be the save. Phase four in the fifth.
Need to be careful. Look at this. Jax is still towards the top of middle. If he chases, this might be able to catch Kirby off guard. Never mind. Just wants that AK. So saving the AWP is going to be great. They can drop that back over to Brokey and they can buy again. Not out of the woods just yet. G2 will need to string two in a row. But that was just another slow round. These, this game isn't playing out the way that I had imagined. Jax is getting close. I was expecting a bit more of an explosive nature in your face, more heads up Counter-Strike, but they're respecting each other a lot, right? There's a lot of firepower in the server today. A lot of these duels are one-on-ones, a lot of damage done through utility, through the smokes as well. FaZe want to change things up. Still very early stages here. Round number six getting underway. Smoke out towards top mid. Much of a muchness. These rounds looking very, very, very standard to kick off. Brokey now searching with the orb towards A, so he's been given a big task. Oh, aggression as well. Oh, Kenny's coming. Kenny wants it. And Rain is positioned to hold it. But shooting. Kenny's dealt with it. He could be punished. That's what they're waiting for, and Kenny's ready for it. Go on. He wanted more. And he does catch the toes of Olaf as he bunny hops away. Knocks that tail right off. Okay, so Cold and Brokey once again just faced with an impossible task. Kenny S has just exploded with a triple kill on your mid. Damage needs to be named of the game here. Phase catch. Ouch, yeah, down. damage catched. Catched. Hello, uh, I'm a 27 year old man and I'm making toddler errors. Professional talker, by the way. Brokey, however, is joining Cold Zero at the top of mid for this party that likely won't last too long. It's going to get shut down as soon as the neighbors have had enough. There's five of them all congregated in a very orderly line. There's nothing that Cold and Brokey should be able to do to break through. Just searching here, seeing if they can find anything. If they... Down to about that 22nd mark without a frag, maybe they'll just save. So Hunter's looking now. He's seen one, spotted up, damage done. And now they're committed. They have to go for this phase. Yep, here we go. Oh, a miss from Kenny. Maybe there's a chance, but Hunter is the one to deny it. That's a spotless round. Not a single body going down. G2 building a bank. You can see 8K now on the high end. Kenny S, the AWPA, has got cash to splash and getting three frags here. Look at this third frag as well. Lovely quick scope onto Kirby, but then hunting the retreating Olaf. Look at this jump. Bang. Oh, right into his toes. Whew. Okay, so that's two in a row for G2. They've broken the money right now. FaZe are going to have to talk through their buy. They could just take one save and they'll be able to get back underway. Some Deagles upgraded in, P250 as well, and two Glocks. So over towards B, we're going to have three players in the early stages. The bomb indication for A. So just look, looking for some picks, baiting out utility. That's going to be name of the game here in round number seven. Jax has actually been tagged on up and he's been bullied down to 52. Olaf searching through the smoke, trying to one-way it. Rain getting a bit of damage onto Nico, but these kills, they're all Ooh. one at a time. That's a big one. It's very big. If he gets another, you could be cooking with gas. Come on, Brokey, finish the job. He's picked up the D. You know, his Hunter's one D. Go away. It's over. Just Kirby's Glock and Cold's Deagle walking out of the palace into Nexa. Should be clean. And it is. Nicely handled. Closing the gap. Weathering the storm. Only losing one rifle. Jax has got plenty, so can treat himself and even choose between the Orc and the M4. Doesn't seem to be his weapon of choice. Some players are starting to experiment with certain positional orgs. That's wow. AUG. Well, this is G2's chance here to level the field up. Four to four, and they're looking good in the last couple. Hunter leading the charge with nine frags. Good to see him coming alive. Just the idea of Hunter and Nico on a map like Mirage together is such a scary, scary prospect. Aggressive mid. Next is pushing. They want to take the fight here. Yeah, it worked for Kenny. And it's a good work again. Kyabi's so flash. They've contained them so well. Rain has oh spotted him. Each they're other. truly next to each other. Back to back. Rain reveals himself. Next to trying to trade. They're literally on top of each other. You're blocked by each other. Rain back in a way. Nexa has the element of surprise and he'll get the trade, albeit as chaotic so and as- janky. Janky, exactly. It still means it's a 4v4, regardless of how much of a mess that was. They've left Kenny over towards A right now. There's still a minute and 15 left, but they're gambling on the B site. And we can see that there's no indication over there just yet. Jackson, Nexa are working on getting some territory and some information back as they mantle up on the van, but Brokey with his head to head on Kenny could be everything. Ooh, Brokey pulled the trigger first. Kenny's bullet works better. Holding the tightest line. Look how one at a time this is. 
Yeah, Olaf's going to rejoin the forces and they don't have a single smoke, so I don't fancy FaZe's chances here. They're locked in as well. Jax has all the info over towards B. G2 know exactly where to look, and if Cold comes out Palace now, he is a dead man walking. Would need some good supportive flashes, but he's the only man with them. And Kenny's presence on CT has really held them back at ramp. Just him firing that shot, getting that kill. They're on 30 seconds now. You boys better lock it down. Starting to crawl. No smokes, no fun to be had. Molotov, jungle. CT still a threat. Flash towards Jax's position. Might keep him at bay just long enough to get Kirby across. 15 as he's going for the plant. And it should be Kenny's responsibility to deny it. Oh, cold. Does jiggle. Confirms Orp was holding it. They've done very well to get that bomb down and to tuck back in. Final bit of util deployed. Olof to be pressured heavily. Cold needs a clean one. Kirby has found one. Olof loses his jewel. Cold does keep it level. And now advancing his next up. Big frag. Cold's gone. Kirby trying to clutch up. He picks up the AK. Needs to spray the smoke. Kenny's walking on it. Just shoot. He has knocked him off it. Has he got the time? I think he has just. It's right down to the wire. Kenny, yeah, saves him. Four to four. Very valiant attempt from Kirby there. Just in the nick of time, knocking him off it. By uh, design or by luck. He did manage to knock him off at the last second of that defuse. But look at how this started. They were truly back to back at one point. Look at this. This feels like it was in a different round. That's Hello. how long ago Hello. this feels. How, oh. He's probably just thought he was stuck on the door, right? Because he's there, there's a couple of yeah, little lips, ledges, you know, potentially just stuck on something along those lines. But getting juked out there, that's not the best mm -hmm. to start. And this one right here made it very difficult. You were right. They did a good job to get that plant. They facilitated another buy. They're looking good. And this looks like a pace change. Aggressive now towards connector. Flashes smokes to cover them. And there's a window smoke that's missed. Kenny gets one, but Nico's been traded on. Yeah, good point. The window smoke has cost Kirby his life. Oh, and now Nades. Hunter's ducked under the bench peak. He's going to have to be spurred forward on that. And now Rain can see him. If he jumps for the info, gets it. He gets away. That's the bomb in middle. A control. A little bit lost and challenged here as the Molotov start to blossom. Olof's got to be really careful here, and that's such a lovely shot from Kenny, just catching them as they set up. Jack's another G2, really picking up steam here. This is looking like a fifth, five consecutive rounds secured, and this one very clean. Kenny is awake today, four kills, getting the juices flowing on the CT side. G2 did narrowly pick up their map pick, and now making a strong case to close FaZe Clan here on the CT start. Five in a row, one better than the FaZe start. G2 have built up a massive bank at this point. They're good for a couple of rounds here. As far as buys go, you can see Kenny, he's operating with 8.9. Hunter with 8. 7k for Nexa. So everything's looking pretty good in the G2 camp right now. And it's just back down to pistols. So this is a chance for G2 to continue that march. Could be six on a row. Broke, he goes forward through the molly. And they're just taking risks. Right? We knew that FaZe coming into this were not going to have as many moves. They weren't going to have as many options. They're going to rely on the individual brilliance. Well, we've seen some similar plays from G2 on their deagle rounds on Dust2. But it comes down to finding those timings and just hitting absolute bangers as connector will be re-smoked and that's going to allow you got a bit more confidence to focus on window and be expecting the phase players to push through that with only pistols that's already been identified because of brokey's early push next are now taking back some more space <laughs> being tagged at least they know where he is Look at these rounds, they just simmer out. The explosive nature I thought we were going to be getting today hasn't come to fruition just yet. There's still time for it. There's still a chance. It's a very narrow oh, shot on okay. Nico that you can take. And before I set the scene, the scene manifests. That's a dead Nico. Quickly, Kenny grabs firm control of the round once again as rain advanced. Nexa didn't even need to be called upon. With the bomb being in T-spawn, this does just seem like the Hail Mary. Next is even going to be hearing that Palace rotate from Cold Zera. Well, if he gets the timer on Cold here, this round's over. I think Cold will be safe. Oh, he's picking up. Yeah. And now the bomb's there. Well, the other round two one. have to get a move on. Kenny's even found a third. They have to die. Kyobi, you need to make sure you get that loss bonus, my friend. Or oh, you can pick up that rifle from Nico and Window, but either bad. way. It's just one at a time they go. Almost one at a time they fall. Kenny's going to find yet another frag. That's back-to-back -back 4Ks from Kenny, right? Yep. Ah, he's definitely 
doing what he needs to do. I want to see how tight of a line this is from Rain. Look, Leslie must be really a slither gap. Is it just a wall? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He's actually taking Micro his Micro adjustments. As well. Yeah, really good shooting. Woo, that is a very tight line. Haven't seen it exploited to that extent in recent memory. We were talking a big game about Brokey. He's pretty quiet right now. Only Touché. three kills to his name. You know, only one with less in the server is Nico. So we need Brokey to come alive here. Has been an absolute force. And it's going to be more mid aggression. They're boosting two up towards Ooh, the vent. Oh, that's a different look. And Olaf's got a different look for us as well. He's caught Kenny. Just pure timing. Pure open. aggression. Nico next on the list. He's dealt with Olaf. Catching him with a nade in his hand. It's Kirby spray that takes another. This is a different look for phase two. Opening frags. Olaf laying his life on the line. They're taking space. Rain not. Gonna get caught by Hunter as he actually mantled upon contact. Molly will force him back. Looks like they will be able to get this bomb down default. Oh, the toes. Here they come. Double window aggression. He actually missed the jump. Now he can drop his util. Molly's good. Could have been good. If he drops it jungle, Hunter's still not sure how he wants to go about this retake. They're calling this off. Are they? It looks like it. I that mean, it's the first time we've seen FaZe find openings in what? Six, six rounds? Yeah, they've been getting absolutely beat down. Hunter's forced forward here. Kirby wow. takes him out. Now they have to call it off. How are you getting back in with a two on four? Both segregated in towards connector. They want to do some damage here, G2. That's damage. Rain hasn't finished. Jax hasn't finished his meal. Could be vulnerable and they get another. So two players put on their bottoms and FaZe will win, but be forced to rebuy three AK-47s. You can see that does certainly keep them honest. Keeping the T-Orp is something, though. You said Brokey's been quiet. I can say the same. In fact, his scoreline mirrored by that of his ex-teammate, Nico. We did get caught by Kirby's smoke spray. That was a pace change, right? They obviously went very fast up through Connector, and yeah, G2 went kill for a on bit of Kenny. a gamble. It was, you could see Kenny even looked at Connector, glanced back, and then got caught through the smoke push. So timing was everything. I can't believe I'm seeing Jack's AWP. This is uh, going to be something else. I don't think oh, I've seen yeah. him go for a, an AWP on a bomb site before, and they're going for the exact same player, G2. And so, our uh, phase, fast down towards middle. This time, not pushing through the Connector smoke, but they have to be aware of that. It's going to be an execute onto A. Three through Palace, one through Ramp. Rain to hold that mid attention. This could get really dicey for G2 here, unless Kenny can catch one on the execute. They're out. And he's calling it now. Guys, bombs on A. Nico swings out. He's actually caught Kyirby again. Another opening death for the Dane. Bombs on to A. The whole squad is on to A. Nade looks great. And now it does chunk away at Cold Zera. Another important duel. Olaf's won it. Have to plant. There's no utility for this. They have to plant now. Hunter. Oh, Kenny getting pushed. And he actually wins it. Close quarters. Go on. Kenny, yes. He's hitting them all. Tries for the style points. Nexa converts it, though. Great stuff. Actually, a triple kill from Kenny. Puts him on 17 as he pushes forward to deny the plant. It's good to see Kenny on some form. We had him for an interview just the other day after one of their games, and he was very, very self-critical about his performance so far. They've only played a bunch of matches with Jax. This is a great shot here, and the second is even better. Uh, just Bang. You know that third's hitting in another universe as well. Oh, DJ, thank you very much, Max. Yeah, what a slap. That's a good second shot right there. And now just back down to the pistols will be phased. We've got Cold Zero operating with that AK-47. But when Kenny dropped that smoke towards CT, that was the only opportunity they had to plant. It was the only way they were out of nades at that point phase, and they didn't get it down in time. Jack's on the another orb. opening death, dude. How many is he up to now? I'm not keeping track. I'll double check right now, actually, because I have it up. That's his second opening death. That can't, doesn't sound right at all. Okay, well, it would be the last two rounds we just watched that would be those two. Either way, he's gone down early and now overcoming that disadvantage. It, it can't be easy. With Desert Eagles and Kevlar vests, the hero AK-47 with the pack this time. Yeah, just a lot of this is one at a time from FaZe. They're giving away very early deaths. They're not really playing out the percentages. They're not baiting out utility. They're just trying to see if they can throw some Hail Marys, throw caution to the wind and crack open a bomb site with a nice Deagle shot, but it hasn't to be. And Nico, he's on for a couple more here. A little gap is perfect for Nico to punish. They could walk through. There's 30 seconds left. So what are they hoping for? They hope this frag is the start of the end. The smoke will fade. Cold looking for the frag. Oh, lost. Been caught. 
And there's more. More. Nico takes down Cold Sarah. That was the armored AK. Should be eight now. Advancing 20 seconds, trying to put some pressure on. And actually, Mixer up. going down. The bomb does two. And there will be no plan. There will be no sixth round. Phase just running that clock down to the point where they've practically had to force it in. So the only gun round in this spree that G2 have been on where FaZe have been able to pluck one away was when it was fast, when it was through connector and it was the gamble. It was the two-man window boost getting players up in towards the vent room. It was Kenny Solo on the site and they just snowballed. They get two kills, they take the site. That's as simple as you like. Now, at the moment, they're having a real tough time getting picked off individually. If they go for a pace change again, this might be expected to... Midsmoke's coming in. They're just trying to feign this same default. A similar setup again from G2. They really love this double vent setup. And it's Kenny to play retake A. Bang. Misses his shot. Tested now. Actually, he likes dropping his own CT defensively, but Rain has cracked open the site, and Olaf's hit his shot as well. This is the kind of round that FaZe convert, he says, stating the obvious. Kenny, however, denies it, finding Brokey. Bomb will go down thanks to Cold Zera, and they have got a lot of space to work with. Nexus behind enemy lines, and Olaf's found him. It's just converting off the back of these first duels. Rain, Olaf delivering on short. Six found, and it keeps them competitive, Chad. Though it sometimes feels like it's just G2 head and shoulders above FaZe Clan, especially with the T side and the way that they are finding these rounds, it's, it's all or nothing with these guys. And this is everything. Yeah, well, Jax is just trying to hold on to this AWP. There's lots of money in the bank balance, right? I guess Nexa and Nico are probably in question, but guns can be dropped across. Jax has 8.2, Hunter with 10K, Kenny S with 6.3. So the buy for the final round here of the first half is going to be sitting pretty for both teams. Some drops will have to happen on both sides. But all in all, G2 with eight in this first half, it's a much better showing than what they had against the likes of NIP just the other day. They're looking a bit more comprehensive here. Is Here's the entry frag. Rain just not letting go of W. And peeking as the flash popped. And as upon the death of his cousin, Hunter caught on his advance as well. So it is time for our final round, second map. First game of the playoffs for IEM Beijing. Could very well close the gap here. FaZe have got all the tools they need. It's been very sporadic. Their rounds have not been distributed by any sort of even and predictable uh, pace. There's another opening kill just on his own. Cannot be traded. No space. And that's going to be the number disadvantages. They try and pounce onto A, but this is more of a default round. Two on the site. Kenny and Nexa. Yeah, and Kenny's pre-aiming this. He should be able to pull the trigger on at least one. kirby has gone down. Rain's trying as hard as he might. He's just ignored it. Dark. Next up, the silencer saves him. And it's a cleanup. Impossible for these boys to contribute. Brokey just wondering what he's supposed to be doing. It's over now. Kenny puts the bullet into him, and that's nine. G2 need just seven to seal the deal in two, or will FaZe Clan be able to put up a fight to take us to nuke?
want you to believe It's crunch time. Time for FaZe Clan to prove their worth, prove their capability of advancing here in the playoffs. I've got myself Sponge and my neighbor's machine itching my eye, so I have got my eyes on the prize. Mirage, our second map. Olaf doing the same as he returns to the roster. Something that stood out as well from the interviews ahead of this game was just him reminding us that he had multiple offers. He was kind of weighing up his options as to when he'd return to the mouse and keyboard in a professional capacity, and then he got the call up from FaZe. He's always going to be there when the boys need him. The bat signal was in the sky of Gotham, and well, Olof Meister responded. What's Brokey up to there? That looks a bit suspicious, like a disconnect. I hope he's... Doesn't look great. There we go. Uh -huh. There he is. Uh -huh. he's, he's now having a look. All right, well, as we get this one away, G2 operating with two smokes, a Molotov, a Flash, and Nico. Well, of course, he has the P250. Two smokes flying out A. I'd be calling the rotate there. And they plan to strike through middle and ramp. Oh, great shot. They bait Rain out to take a look, and Nico's P250 is no slouch. G2, find the first. Need a second. Cold spotted, and he hits a banger as well. That USP is perfect for a duel at that range, and oh. Nico's P250 finds another head. They're kept level. Brokey tested, though, as he catches a goosh. Working with low HP. Doesn't stop him peeking into another. He's trying to pivot right now. It's getting awkward, especially because Cold can at any time take a glance and hit another shot like that. Ooh, Hunter's playing with fire. He meets Cold Zera. They are doing it. Solid stuff from FaZe. Cold has won them this round, or at least made it incredibly difficult for Nexer. He's got no armor. He's taking a chance. If he goes across, he knows Cold will hold it. No, oh, good shooting. Two of them low now. Makes the Glock a viable weapon for this. This is winnable. It's not going to be easy. A fake and an attempt to beat Cold Zera. He hits it. That is impressive, and it's a start. Another fake. Brokey was low, thanks to Nico. Oh, we saw a glimpse of him. 20 seconds. Nexa. He wants one of them. Another fake. Brokey down. Olof coming from CT. He's pushing in. Nexa needs to be ready for the close quarter quarters duel. Olof wrapping around. Nexa on for the 1v3. Long range away. clock. Frags and now he's challenged. He gets away. He's smoking a kit though. Olof can apply a lot of pressure. He's holding it. Oh, what an unsatisfactory way to lose out. He doesn't have the lineup. Olof, you ninja. Pulls the round back into FaZe's court purely through in utility. A very worthwhile investment there. Dieter's going to have a very scary buy here. Next, he can go with an AK hen armor for himself. They can drop AKs around for the others. Look, Nico's even invested with an AK and Kevlar. So if you have a look at what type of buy G2 are going to have, it's going to be so much stronger than what FaZe could even possibly muster on their CT side unless they jig their weapons around as well. But Nexa just by whittling try. these down, he gave it a good crack. And it was always winnable with that low HP of Brokey. As soon as he gets the goosh onto Cold Zero on Cat, that plan is fantastic. Look at this. We got two AKs, two Galils, a Mac 10. This is oh, huge. Oh, Rain was so unprepared for that. Not only the AK, but the positioning. Nico just on the edge of the flame. Okay. Seems G2 want to take control of this early. Unwilling to let that pistol round. You're building block for FaZe Clan. Heading back to A now. So this is quite early where their intention is. One smoke towards CT, a couple of flashes to get onto the site. And look at this. FaZe are taking some risks. They're trying to clear off towards middle. They have nobody on the A bomb site. They could lose control of this very, very quickly. The rotation from B is miles away. The smoke is going over. The flashes are following. They've locked them on out here already. Yeah, there's no one home. Smokes are good. Kiabi will have to walk through that if he wants to contest, and CT will be dealt with in due course. They don't have any util. It will have to be bodies they put on the line. I'm a little concerned that Brokey could do a lot here. Their eyes are on him. He knows he's being tested. A nade not bad. Good damage. Could even spray some more. They're staring at the jump up. Maybe the spray. Maybe he can find something. Hunter's already found one, though, and they're adding more to the list. I have to save. Yep, no options. This is a flawless second round. Wow, Nico even spraying them down. That AK pays for itself. That's huge. Not only the round, but three kills. Rain was pulling out nades. That's how unprepared he was. Yeah, and you could just see that buy from G2. As soon as Nexus stays alive, he gets the bomb down. He gets all those kills. You know he's going to have an absolutely amazing gun round coming forward into round number two. AK head armor for one guy to purchase that in the second round of the game. And at this point... G2, they're set up to win this one. 
I don't see FaZe being able to put up too much more resistance now. Smokes toward window. It's just going to be the force down to that 1400 loss bonus. FaZe don't have many options. They've invested. Not a lot of utility. No nade stacks. It's just going to come down to individual brilliance here. They need to hit their shots as silly as it sounds. That's the only way that FaZe can win this round. Yeah, and I can see, you know, there's a universe where this Kirby jewel is one and suddenly a Galil and an armor are enough. And it seems that world we could be living in. It's an early frag and the weapon retrieval. I just cannot believe what we're seeing here across the board from both teams, just like limping out and, and dying in one-on-one -on -one duels in all these different committed locations. Like Kenny had pushed up so far there. Still have a minute 10 left in the round. Cold Zero is on with a frag here. Ooh, hard one to hit. Couldn't adjust in time, Hunter has. So we're back to a level playing field, round 18 here with G2 on the attack. And with the financial advantage, Kirby scavenged Galil could be the difference maker. They've left him on an island though. Look at this. One oh, towards window, two towards B. Look He's at the about to get sandwiched. <laughs> oh, that's that's no fun. Unless Rain can somehow just promise him he's got these two connector frags, he doesn't. And so the round's chances starting to dwindle. That's a good chance from Kiyobi. He doesn't convert. Oh dear. So only Olaf and Brokey, Desert Eagle's not going to be enough and they'll do their best to contribute from short or wherever they may be. Hunter's even working to try and punish them with some fragging. They're all chasing. Look at this. The pressure right now being applied from G2. FaZe are being punished here. Locked completely in. Hunter through the underpass. Nico covering off short. They've already got Jax towards spawn. There's no way that they can really run and hide. And there's so much time on that bomb. I think they're all going down here. It's not the most crazy of predictions, but yeah, Brokey spotted. Oh, even more so. But they contain them. They can't get any of these weapons. I think it was only a Mac 10 available. It was the only gun on the floor. Bomb goes off. Brokey. He's going to stay alive. Oh, no, oh. he's not. The last second nade, the ditch attempt. Brokey goes down. Now going into the next round to play with the $1,900 loss bonus phase. We'll have to take a save. This is going to be 12 for G2. They're operating with four rifles. They've got one SMG in the mix, and they're just keeping it easy. Trading off of each other, good spacing, good timing. And even a hunt against the Deagles, we don't see that every day of the week, especially in this version of Counter-Strike. They wouldn't be used to being under that kind of pressure, and it's fizzling out for FaZe. Can't believe Kenny leading the charge here. Absolutely monstrous performance in that first half. 23 for him now. Kenny heard you all talking shit. Five CTs with USPs stacked up towards Palace. Nico. He wants some frags against this push, and he can't believe his luck. He gets a big push, but he doesn't get the frags he hoped for. Dinks from Kiyobi put an AK into their hands. It is, however, going to confirm that the bomb could probably start moving towards B. Kenny's been given the fun job of containing the aggression. Scout Kiyobi reports one ramp. I don't know even know where they're looking right now, FaZe. They've lost map control here, just getting melted with these USPs. So. This is the 12th. Olaf will do his very best to hold on to this AK, but I don't think he's too long for this world. We'll convert onto Kenny. Clean up crew. Hunter, he's out. He's contained. I'm still top mid, dude. They're not even bothering. Yeah, they just want the frag right now, which is quite curious. If he can hit a couple more, this might be a classic Olaf round here. They've contained him, right? So Jax has the connector cross. You've got Hunter there and towards connector as well. Bombs gonna get planted B. The only way that there could be an avenue for this would be a flank, and I think Jax is starting to deal with that now. The hunter covering this means that he's gonna be on one side of the map, and now he's even having a little bit of a looky loop. How diligent is he gonna be here? I think he's jumping up on that box. Oh, he's not. He's actually gonna swing in, and Olaf will get himself another. Nexus has tagged him up, and he's soon. All right, well, it got a little bit more costly than I'm sure G2 would have liked, but it's around nonetheless. 12 to 7, the score line here. Control has been taken. One of the big phrase, phrase? phase fraggers needs to wake up. You need, you need the rain to put in another one of those massive performances like we saw over there on Dust2. Cold Zero needs to come alive or Brokey. We said that he's been good for them so far in this tournament. Well, he's sitting only at seven frags to his name. G2 are actually even going to take a timeout. Things are going so well for them. They just want to calm down the pace here for a moment, discuss their options, make sure they don't drop a bit of a freebie. And by freebie, I mean, look at the buy from phase. There's a couple of big emissions here. Cold Zero only operating with a the smoke. There's only one diffuse kit. They're not working with a lot here, FaZe. And if they lose this one, that's basically the game done and dusted. This is actually going to give FaZe an opportunity to talk things through as well. 
Not sure they can come up with too much on the fly. Just going to have to hope that their individuals can hit these shots. Likely to be that mid control standard play out of G2. The AWP on Kenny has been looking good. I think for, for, for FaZe Clan, it has to come down to some individuals. It can't be Kirby at the top of the scoreboard. You're right. You really can't. Look at what you've got it, and what you had over on Dust 2. It was Rain, Brokey with 60 francs combined. Was that cold there? It was cold, excuse me. So we need another string. G2 playing by the book here, just the standard mid default. Out they go with the smoke. Needs to follow. Nobody with eyes on mid right now. It's just passive connector, one up towards the vent room. They're giving them control. They don't want to fight this top mid, so want to allow G2 to walk up close and personal. Brokey now postured towards Cat with that AWP. Quite the heavy lean towards the B bomb site. Lots of pressure will be applied on Rain if they do finish A. And now with a minute and 15 left, not much utility to work with either. Brokey has to hit test. this. Big test for Brokey. They flash him perfectly off the line. This is a well-drilled G2. And a good shoot from two members of FaZe. They can back away now. Mission accomplished. Kenny gets caught as well. Cold Zera single-handedly looking to win this round. It looks like FaZe have done enough to convert this one cleanly. Nexa. He's even being stared at. They need to be careful here. They can't there. give away too many guns. Oh. Nice. Oof, I thought there was a moment there where they give up two rifles. Phase need to start building a bit of a bank. They need to chuck a couple in a row and they're able to get two AK-47s there. They can now buy in with full utility. Money in question for G2. You can see Kenny and Hunter not operating with a lot. Jax can drop one. So a buy round should be on the cards. I don't think that they will shy away from this one. Scoreline 12 to 8. Nico's bought in. Hunter onto the UMP. I'm never going to find that uh, any less funny seeing him buy that one time and time again. Kenny gets dropped the AWP and the AK for Jack. So all in all, they're operating with what they want. Double orps immediately from FaZe. Yeah, and there is potential that those double orps can get overrun. Second is on cold. Now he'll hear Hunter charging under pass. And... Jax is suppressing fire. is designed to stop anybody from dealing with it. Three smokes used in middle, and Nico, what a shot! Drive by into cold. Second AWP is gone. Said he could get overwhelmed, but it's all off. It's gonna feel that. He's open. Wide open. G2 straight back into the driving seat of this half. Oh, and just a little late arrival from Brokey. He's had Jack slip the net. He has to address it, maybe even save. Yeah, builds a CZ as he retreats. Nico's already in a position to try and punish the save. I don't think Brokey's gonna be ready for this either. Oh, oh, Rain no. is in so much strife. Brokey yep. goes down the save. It's not even going to muster. No, but Rain is going to be so kicking himself. He checked T. There should be no way in his brain that this death happens. And boop. A UMP takes the M4 away. You said they had to be careful not to lose their rifles in the previous. Well, they've lost them all and the round. Kenny confirms it. 13 for the T side of G2. Looking to wrap this up in two. D Dust 2 and then Mirage. First two maps of the series. That is the shot from Nico. That was against an AWP, peeking into Cold Zera. As soon as you have Olaf going down without any resistance on B, on B, there's no point for that retake. And they were already trying to save, but G2 well aware of that, picking the mom off. And now it's just FaZe opting in with a bit of a buy again. You've got Cold Zera onto a Deagle. It's rifles for the rest of them, but this is the last chance to learn. If they don't convert here, they'll be operating with very little going forward. It'll be the 2400 loss bonus in the next round of play. They might just force out the rest of the game here, FaZe. There was a chance for this to be the uh, coming out party. Maybe if they were to make it deeper within this tournament, this could be a roster we would see sticking around. But I think blowing out and getting blown out here in the quarterfinals, those rumored changes, this might be the goodbye party, the farewell tour. <laughs> tour. I like the way you say tour. Nico puts Kirby down on his bottom. Forced now to watch as round 22 will transpire entirely without him. Kenny gets his all back. They've boosted Olaf up. That's the sign of the times. A straight up 2 2 split of your remaining pieces, just hoping the puzzle completes itself. I'm not much of a puzzler, Chad, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen often. No, uh, and I think at this stage, you can just see how much room they've given up, right? Window control can be taken at any time. If they do split onto B, they won't have the early info based off Olaf's boost. He's likely only to get one and done from that position. And with how diligent that G2 have looked, oh, he is off. Is You're he right. Going? They're gambling. They're gamble stacking A. It's the wrong call. 
Nothing's working for FaZe right now. G2 are just absolutely outplaying them across the board. And Nico's hitting shots like that. Rain is going to fall. The rotation is cut off. This round is done. <sighs> Nico's in such a powerful spot. He might be saying, yo, A looks clear, but now he's confirmed it. Cold's actually given them the info they needed. Nico was desperate to die or at least find more bodies so they can confirm that A is probably where FaZe lie. Jax is pushing through his own smoke. Oh no, Olaf. Sound cue was enough for him to cast his gaze elsewhere. It's enabled them to find not only the frag, but 14 here on the T side. And this second half has been all G2. We've only seen two smudges on their record or two ticks on phases. And one of them was Olaf defusing the bomb in the smoke. Yes, so, uh, after a next potential 1v3. Yeah, when you look at the way that the rounds were chalked up, it's not looking good for phase whatsoever. And coming in here today was a chance for them to play loosey-goosey, but they played very reserved Counter-Strike, especially on their T sides. Very default heavy. And G2 are more than happy to play that style. Cole now doing his best to hold on to this M4. The same for Brokey over there in Palace. Flash comes through. We'll get the kill. Will Brokey survive? That's the question. If he overpeaks, oh, he gets a freebie right there. Even gets the AK-47 going forward. So they have weapons to work with, but that's it. That's all they have. And they got Nico the Crowbar out to find the openings round after round. He took down Cole. He's taken down Kyoby. And I think he's taken away FaZe's chances here. Yeah, their blade looking a little dull. Look at this one. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Well, it's 14. G2 are not showing any signs of slowing. And FaZe are going to have to just scrumple their pennies together for the next round. Playing an economical here. Surrounded by an M4 and an AK-47. They may as well have gone all in. They get 2,900 in the next round. Surprised they didn't. But I mean, it does, it's it's not far from that. It's just the utility you would have seen paired with this. Maybe they want a second real attempt. Yeah, G2 are just going to play it slow. When you know that you, the other team have to take a risk, they have to go for a push, they have to make a play. Just fan out that default all across the map. We can see two towards top mid, two over towards the B apartments, one dealing with the under push, one dealing with the B, and then over towards Palace will be Nico. Here's a chance. It's a good shot. Hunter will fall, so it's a five on four. But still, G2 with a minute remaining on the clock and Nico taking the head off Kyoby. It's just one at a time these kills are happening. It's so hard to track and trace. Yeah, he manages to get that one tap though. That's not an easy shot to hit. And he's making that palace presence very clear. Even rotating back to him now. So A ramp is under question, but we can see nobody's home. Phase of all now tucked in towards middle. All four of them wanting CT's to clear. Check mid and then go back to their respective holes. Yeah, they need to gamble stack one of these sites. They gambled incorrectly previously. They've got two on A. Coming on over is Olaf, so at least there'll be three members here. One of the rifles is good. Yeah. Rain, if you can just distract, set cold for success. And well, it's not the distraction he was hoping for. And oh, Nico execution. keeps tapping, popping heads. And Nico's not done. Another three frags on the entry. Started in Palace, looks to be finishing here on the A site as well. It's only Brokey with the uh, saved AK. He'll just be holding on to that for a hunt and catches the head of one. Back in away now, mission accomplished. And they'll be putting everything into what could be the final round of this series. Our first game in the IM Beijing playoffs in G2. Looking very set for the W here. Had Dust2 just been closed out, a couple of those advantages FaZe managed to manufacture on G2's map pick. It could be a very different story. And there goes all of the margin for error, folks. It would need to be perfect. Seven perfect rounds of CT Counter-Strike on Mirage. First bullet as well. Yeah, and he even gets another one tap just to the dome. His precision is otherworldly. Oh, oh okay. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, I see. Ah. Uh. Exactly. So when you're playing at home, guys, just do exactly that. Why don't you just do that? And you win. Yeah, uh, very time. easy. Very easy. You guys are learning from the best. Nico here. has got the energy, the BDE. He's grabbed an AWP. He said, I'm going mid. And he's going to run through this smoke. He wants to punish that connector player again. It was previously Kirby. There is a gap again. Oh, and... he spotted him. <laughs> yeah, Kirby. Pushing over the smoke, though. He wants to try and catch it. I think he knows what's going on here. The CT smoke indicates as such. Kenny, I don't think you're getting your ult back this round, mate. Yeah, I think Nico's <laughs> feeling himself now. He's in ladder room trying to find Kia. He might even oh. find him. Doesn't hit the shot this time. No more desk slamming for the Dane. Yet. Yet. Being the operative word. They've got a lot of control up now. Mid is theirs. 
Next is holding the T-Push. Hunter's in window. If Kirby wants any info, he has to fight one of the very best in the game. If Campbell B fades to push their chips, it's the middle of the table here on the final round of play. And that's lost the opening again. Strong spray. Tight line. Have to keep that perfectly managed. Olaf wants info and he's calling B clear. Surely the rotate from cold. Yeah, Brokey's out as well. They can still pivot B. Next, they can grab the bomb at any point and go straight up cat. Destroying the rotation. Look at this. He's hearing all of the rotation. They go in A all regardless. And I guess it makes sense. That smoke makes things a bit awkward, though. Jax is going to have to push for him. Oh, and he actually hits the shot. Broke. He's lost it. Rain threatened. G2. They only need a couple more frags, and Kenny's found another 26 frags. Kenny Shrub is back in a very big way. He's fallen to Cold Sarah this time, so maybe they can close it out. But with the absence of the kit, Olaf's coming from mid a bit too late. There is a kit for him to pick up should he find Hunter, but he's already caught Nico. Would need another. Oh dear, Olaf. He's been hunted down. Nine HP for Hunter to clutch it. Maybe Cold's got a chance, but is he going around the world? He opt for connector. It's planted for him. No kit. You bang on, and he's even got a nade. Cold, no, not like this. Bowled over, and it's perfect. G2 advanced in the playoffs.